What's up everyone, welcome to your 7th um, Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going over the basics of the project panel. Now if you didn't know, uh, one of the main panels that you'll be working with the most and you'll definitely need is called the project panel. And it's on default docked in the top left of Adobe Premiere Pro. So uh, let's just find our way around here a little bit. One of the most common tools that you'll be using in the project panel is this little tool right here. It's called the new item. And what it does is when you click it, it gives you a drop down list of all the new items that you can make. Uh, mostly you want to make a sequence, which is kind of a series of clips. A title, which you know what that is. A black video, where you see if you click it, it's just a plain black background. And uh, that's used a lot in the backgrounds of titles when you don't want it to be transparent. And you want it to be black instead with a uh, cash showing up and the title showing up and stuff. And uh, another thing you might want, but I don't like very much, is just Universal Counting Leader. That's the old-fashioned countdown from 4, 3, 2, 1. But uh, uh, I, don't, I don't really like that too much because it uh, it's not very new it's kind of an old thing um another thing that i want to go over in the project panel is how to expand this panel if you go to the right and see these two double arrows and drag it you can see all of these um characteristics of your clips as you can see you have name label frame rate uh when it begins and ends uh the in points and out points and these can be useful to different people for different reasons and because of that Adobe lets you rearrange these how you like to rearrange these simply grab onto a name by left clicking it and as you can see when you start dragging it it highlights and if you just want to move it around move it between whatever you want and let go again click it hold on and you could rearrange your characteristics of your clip however you want. Another thing that you can do is sort the all of the elements in the project panel according to how you want them or how you think you're going to need them. As you can see right now they're sorted by name. You can tell this because there's a little arrow by name. If you just click that one time the arrow points down and all of the elements in name are sorted by descending order again the arrow pointed up is ascending the arrow pointed down is ascending and not only can you sort them by name you can sort them by label frame rate or any of these characteristics right here even media duration see how long your clips are but most people would just go ahead and sort them by name now besides organizing your clips like this there is one other very useful thing that uh, another way that you can organize your clips and this is called bins now to now if you didn't know a bin is pretty much the same thing as a folder or a directory in Windows it's a place where you can just keep all your files or clips or anything you actually want to put on it so to create a new one just click this little bin symbol and as you can see you can name it I'll just name my new bin and now once you name it you can go ahead and drag clips or anything else you want down in it just hold it and when the bin is highlighted let go and your clip is automatically in your new bin so let's move a couple clips in here and now we have two clips in our new bin and as you can see we can sort these easily if we want to minimize them just click the arrow if we want to show everything in our bin click our out arrow and if we ever want to take anything out of the bin just click it and drag it out now as you can see this is out of the bin anything that's indented a little bit is in the bin and anything that's out of it is of course out of it so let's click that drag it out and anytime you want to get rid of the bin just right click it and press clear now make sure everything is out of your bin when you clear it because if you have stuff in your bin and clear it it'll actually get rid of everything in there so make sure everything's out of it before you clear it and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on this project panel and next tutorial we're probably going to be going over the timeline panel so thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe